Hello and welcome to Volt Life. This is a demo of the Synthrotech ADSR, a compact voltage controlled digital envelope with a few tricks up its sleeve. I'll use it to control the VCF and VCA of a simple subtracted voice. One of the first things you'll notice is the LEDs on the sliders, which is a nice touch to let you know which stage is active. The shortest stage length is about 4 milliseconds, which isn't super snappy, but fast enough for short clicks and snaps. As well as creating ADSR envelopes, the module can be switched into simple attack release mode. One important characteristic of any envelope is how it responds to gates and re-triggers. In both modes, the envelope will continue through attack and decay phases as appropriate, even with a very short gate, rather than jumping to the release stage. If a new gate is received while the envelope is running, it will start again at the current voltage rather than at zero volts. The envelope curves can also be switched from linear to exponential to suit the CV destination. One slightly hidden feature is self-cycling, which turns the ADSR into an LFO. You engage this by unplugging from the gate input and flipping the envelope mode to engage cycling. Both AR and ADSR envelopes will cycle, and the latter can provide some interesting shapes depending on the sustain level. Both modes go into low audio range, up to 125Hz in AR mode. Now let's try some voltage control, starting with the release CV input, which as you'd expect affects just the release stage, thereby creating saw light waves as it increases. The ADSR CV input, on the other hand, adds length to all three timed stages at the same time. This doesn't give you quite as much control as a full VC ADSR, but it's a good compromise given the tiny 4HP footprint. Let's look at some patches using voltage control in envelope mode. Here I'm using gates from a sequencer to trigger the ADSR into short plucks. Now I'll use the second CV row to control the whole envelope length, bringing in slow swells on some notes. You'll notice that if the envelope becomes longer than one sequence of stage, it continues into the next stages for a legato effect. Alternatively, I can plug the CV into the release input to give longer tails to some notes without the swells. You can also modulate both at the same time, so I'll plug an attenuated LFO into the ADSR input to get more complex evolving modulation.
One old trick with voltage controlled function generators is to molt the output through an attenuator back into the stage length CV input, with the resulting feedback changing the shape of the curve. We already have both linear and exponential modes, but we can create other combinations this way. Starting in linear mode, we can get a decay shape that mirrors the attack rather than flipping it. Or in exponential mode, we can get an exponential attack and a linear release, just in case that comes in handy. In this next patch, I have the sequencer set up to merge a few steps together into a longer gate. Now I can tweak the ADSR CV to get a nice long swell across this longer note. Or, if you have a sequencer with voltage control over step length, you can mold that CV into the ADSR input for envelopes that respond to the varying step length. Finally, I'll use a very quick attack and decay to create rhythmic pops and clicks with some slower steps for variation. Raising the sustain level brings in nice little blips of tone alongside the clicks and swells. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.